Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I hope you're having a good day. I apologize if you hear that loud noise in the background. It is my air conditioner and it is really, really loud. But it's also quite warm, so I want my AC running. Anyhow, I wanted to come at you with a haul from Jerry's Artorama. Yay! I really like to order from Jerry's. They usually have really good coupons and good place to order from. I will say I did have a couple of little snafus with this order, but Jerry's, as always, has amazing customer service and are taking good care of me. So, the first thing I got is from Schminky. This is the Trocol Bronze. I got it in Rich Pale Gold and Pale Gold. Now, I will say I made a boo-boo because I ordered some of these from Blick before. I got silver and copper, and I didn't swatch them until I got these. And I got these like a month later. So, that's totally bad on me. But I have swatched these. I'm going to show you. So, God, they're gorgeous, right? Yes, I saw someone use this in a YouTube video. However, there is one major drawback to these. It's supposed to be a dry gouache. It's it's basically bronze pigment mixed with a dry gouache binding medium. So it's the binding medium is supposed to be gouache. So someone's going to have to tell me if I'm not doing this right or whatever. But I read the directions. I followed the directions I found online. I followed the directions on this thing. And I'm still having the same result. I've tried hot press, cold press paper. I've tried distilled water. I've tried... Uh, Filtered water. I've tried non-filtered water. Someone's gonna have to tell me what the heck I'm doing wrong because I have no freaking idea And so I'm asking for your help in this so these swatches look freaking gorgeous So anyone who's been looking for a metallic watercolor this might be what you're looking for. However, here's my issue with this Let's Check this out It's not staying it's coming off on my finger um, You know, I did this little thing to play with it's, it's very upsetting for me. I have contacted Schminky. I don't know what else to do. I'm going to attempt to contact, I think, Blick and Jerry's because I ordered it from two different places. So I know it's not Blick. I know it's not Jerry's. I just don't know if I'm not using this product right or, I mean, it says to use water. So I'm using water. I just don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. I'm, I'm really frustrated about this. So if you know anything about this, let me know because I figure worst case scenario I end up using it and then I seal it which you should seal all your artwork anyways to get it to stay but I'm just I'm like you know I I'm sort of in my head I'm wondering I'm like well should I should I try using some gum Arabic which is a watercolor binder and try it that way I don't know what to do I'm just really frustrated with this so I'm at the point where I may contact Jerry's and see if they can just refund me and send it back and Blick because it's it's very frustrating because it's beautiful but I was like I really don't want to have to go to the trouble of adding other stuff to it if I'm not supposed to I just I don't know I really could use your help if you <laughs> know what the heck I'm doing wrong because I mean it's it's got to be something so I don't know and I have tried contact Schminky but I, I haven't heard from them I just I contacted them like a week or so ago and I don't know so I'm just at that point, you know, I don't know. The next thing I got, I was really excited about. It is the Matisse sampler set in the Australian color line. So Matisse has a really great array of colors, and they have what they call Australian colors. And I've seen them and have had my eye on them for years. I've just never picked up a sampler set. And so it comes with 10 Matisse structure formula paints 12 mils and two Matisse mediums honestly I could do without the mediums because I got a lot of those but that's okay so these were a little bit of a disappointment too um, because I'm not sure if you can tell but I wrote a D on these because they're dried out but as you can tell all these tubes are nice and full but these are just not so when I went to swatch them, yet another good reason to swatch, as you can see. Like, I can get paint out, but basically the stuff's dried out. I mean, it's it's all gunky, it's gummy, it's not, paint is not supposed to look like that. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's not really shiny or, like, glossy, like wet paint should be. And it's kind of got, like, cracks and crags and yeah, all sorts of stuff on it. Just ignore my hands, because I got paint on them, I'm sorry. But, so that's going on. And so this is the Australian Red Violet. See how wet and like just luscious and glossy that looks? I mean, that's what wet paint, that's what good paint is supposed to look like. The others, 
you know, just dried out. But I will say, I contacted Jerry's. I sent them pictures, uh, and they're sending me replacements for those two. So I thought that was real nice of them. I was, however, able to get a swatch from them. But like I said, it's extremely opaque and gunky on here. But I'm going to show you what they look like just in case you're curious. So this is Southern Ocean Blue, Red Oxide, Australian Sienna. Australian blue gum. This is one of the dried out ones. And also you can see it's dried out. See how opaque it is compared to the rest of these. Um, this is aqua green light. Uh, this is Australian sky blue, Australian red violet, Australian um, olive green, Australian sap green, and Australian salmon gum. And I know, I think for sure I want to get the southern ocean blue the Australian Sienna and then the red Australian red violet. I, I think they're really pretty colors and I'm really excited to have these to play with. And thank you, Jerry's, for like excellent customer service and getting in contact with me like a day after I emailed you about the issue and taking care of it. So I appreciate that. The next thing I got is I got two sets from Da Vinci and I got their fluid acrylics. So they are six packs, which I've already taken out, which means they're swatched. So I got the starter set, and then I got the brights set. So originally I had seen Da Vinci's like starter set on another website, and I was going to order it. But then I just happened to be, you know, looking on Jerry's when I was going to order, and I was like, well, let me see. And I was like, so I, I put it in there, and it came up, and they had not only the starter set, but they had the bright set. And I was like, bright? I like bright. So I got them both. The coupon worked, so it made it very affordable. And I will go ahead and say I have made some notes on these paints, so I'll kind of tell you what I've noticed so far. I really like these paints so far, but um, I have the Alizarin Crimson, the Quinacridone color. Um, not all red medium. This is Opus Permanent, I believe that's what it's called. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, Gamboge Hue. Hansa Yellow Light, Aureolan Hue, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, just FYI. This is, I think, French Ultramarine. This is, oh, Anthra, is it Anthraquinine? They call it Rich Blue, but Anthraquinine Blue. Sap Green, Green Gold, Transparent Burnt Sienna, and then Quinacridone Gold Hue. And I just, I made some notes that Da Vinci Fluid Acrylics, um, 10 out of the 12, are light fast rated of one or excellent two of them are light fast rated two number two which is very good and then there are six single pigments and six multi pigments because some people really don't like buying paint that is made up of more than one pigment because if they want to mix their own they worry they may get mud so that's just something to be aware of i will say the starter set has four that are single pigments and two that are mixed and the bright set has four that are mixed pigments and two that are single pigments. And when they're mixed pigments, they're only mixes of two. They're not mixes of like three or four like some of them are. So just to be aware of that and if that's something that's a concern for you, then, you know, so you know to check it out. The next thing I bought, it probably isn't a surprise at this point. I'm pretty sure... I just, I'm in love with this paint. If this paint was a man, I would probably ask it to marry it. I'm pretty sure because it's so beautiful. I really like this paint. It's, it's that, it's so good. It just does it for me. It really does. It's beautiful. It is the Sennelier acrylic paint. I just love the consistency of it. I love the way it looks when it goes on and it applies even over other like acrylic mediums. I, I love it. So these are heavy bodied, extra fine, artist quality. I really love these. These are probably my favorite heavy body paint that I've found so far. I'm going to go through the swatches because I have three pages of them. Don't judge me or feel the need. To, if you feel the need to, I guess go ahead. But I really, I really like this paint. I, so yeah, and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get some more when I can afford to, but I've pretty much killed my stash and I, have a lot of family coming into town so I sort of have to slow my roll because I have to you know entertain people so the first thing is this is Indian yellow this is 
gold quinacridone. God, isn't that gorgeous? I just can't help it. Cobalt teal, cobalt turquoise, ultramarine blue, the green shade, phthalo blue, the green shade, ultramarine violet. Could you not just? Oh my God. Thalo green, the blue shade, phthalo blue, the yellow, or phthalo green, the yellow shade. Sorry about that. Sennelier Brown. FYI, this brown is really beautiful. It definitely has a slight green undertone to it. Burnt Sienna and Nathal Red. Then I got, da 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 da, because we're not done. Quinacridone Fuchsia. Primary Red. Chinese Orange. This is, what the heck is this? This is Delft Blue. Turquoise. Light Turquoise. Um, Prussian Blue. Raw Umber and green earth then I got titanium white which I sort of wish I had gotten a big one of because you know you always need that burnt umber Hansa yellow dark isn't it beautiful cobalt green also beautiful literally I can't help it ultramarine blue light can't help it it's all so gorgeous I know I bought a lot of paint so but that's all right because I have a lot of painting to do so I hope you enjoyed this little haul that's not so little. Um, if you can think of some products you think I'd like, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any art products you're loving right now, whether that's crayons or certain watercolor or oil paints or spray paint, let me know in the comments section below. I like to talk about that. I love to learn about new products. And yeah. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.